All right, Daniel, thank you so much. Well, TikTok has been the center of many major headlines in the past week. Of course, this after President Joe Biden signed a bill that could lead to a nationwide ban of the popular social media app. Now, lawmakers are pushing for this ban because the app is owned by a Chinese company called ByteDance, and they fear the country could use data from the app to spy on Americans. Just last month, some congressional members from our state actually voted to force TikTok sale in the United States or ban it. So let's go ahead and see right now how they voted. Only two South Carolina members of Congress voted against that bill. See them right there on your screen. That's Democrat James Clyburn and Republican Nancy Mace. With Republican Congressman Jeff Duncan, Russell Fry, Ralph Norman, William Timmons, and Joe Wilson all voting to ban this app. Now we reached out to all seven representatives to get their reactions to this nationwide social media ban. Here's what Ralph Norman and Nancy Mace had to say. Joe Biden and the U.S. government and Congress has done nothing actually to stem the tide of Chinese aggression. Um, if we were serious about Chinese aggression, we would be looking at other provisions within software within the App Store and be looking at regulations at the federal and state level to ensure that U.S. adversaries that bill did. And so it's really just kind of baloney to say, hey, we banned TikTok, China, we, we won China, we beat China. No, we haven't done that because this, this provision will be held up in court for years. Here's my question I would ask him. Is national security more important than using an app that's popular? When they answer that question, and th there's no question, th there's no reasoning behind not doing it because it's a national security threat, as so many other things are, uh, particularly with China. So, you know, they can. There will be other apps to use that will uh, do the same thing as TikTok. It will take time, but we cannot afford our national security to be, to be further at risk. And so we want to get serious about Chinese actors, Russian actors, and we've got to apply regulations across the board, including to U.S. companies to protect consumer data. And, and other, anything short of that isn't taking our national security seriously. All the research, you know, you, you, we heard time and time again, follow the science, follow the research. China is, is a communist country that's using this to gain information on America. And my question is, we couldn't do it to China, and they shouldn't do it. They shouldn't do it to us and to ban it at any cost. Now, Congressman Joe Wilson sent us a statement on this ban. It reads, quote, TikTok has become a significant threat to the safety and security of the American people as personal data could be provided to the Chinese Communist Party. If the platform were to be sold out of Chinese government control, then further restrictions on TikTok Incorporated would not be necessary. Congressman Jeff Duncan's team referred us to his remarks on X, which read in part, quote, the fact is TikTok uses location data to target our next generation, your children, to influence U.S. government policy so China can continue to spy on Americans and our military. Now, we know the talk, talk of TikTok is far from over. Yeah, that's right. All week long, we're going to be breaking down how this ban can impact consumers, businesses, and social media as a whole. Of course, stay with us as we bring you the latest on our TikTok, a Race Against Time series. But first, we want to bring you the latest in our morning rush headlines, including a juvenile that was shot after pulling a gun on a deputy. That's according to the Richland County Sheriff's Department. All of that after the break.